Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on a GraphQL lab in Port Swigger's Web Security Academy. It is performing CSRF exploits over GraphQL. So the user management by GraphQL endpoints accept with URL encoded, good, vulnerable, crash some HTML that uses CSRF to change the viewers email address upload it we have our own account sweet all right let's check it out please remember to like and subscribe leave a comment let me know how i'm doing i'd appreciate that we've done some csrf before um let's go and look at that what i really want is to Remember how to do the form. Here we go. This. Uh, and let's start a script actually for this one. Uh, copy. Python utils. Create script. Boom. And let's open it. Python performing. Where am I? Uh... GraphQL uh, performing CSRF. There we go. All right. Let's check out. We want to change the user's email, right? Wiener Peter. I think that's what it was. Yeah, email address. All right. So let's do blah at blah.com to see how it works. We'll go here, proxy, HTTP history, and there, that one. We're gonna send this to repeater. Okay, so we wanna change this from application JSON to the www dash, I can never remember what it is, uh, this, Copy, paste that there. Now we want to do something like query. E what the crap? Query equals mutation, right? And then uh, we want to do change email. And then change email and then input. And here's where we want the email. So we'll do boom, email, boom, blah, at blah.com that close that close that close that email all right let's try that delete that send it sending token so it's right there do i need a url encode this Maybe I can just quote it. Validation, ooh. So this means we need to ask for something. A response. What was the email? They got the email in response. So we'll do the same, Peter. We'll do boom, email. I don't know if that goes there or inside or right there. I think it goes there. Ooh, no. Eh, 
Hey, that looks like it worked. Let's check it. Check it. Blah at blah.com. Let's do blah at one. Refresh. Blah one. Sweet. Okay, so here's the form. I just want to check. Can we do change request method? A get? No. Okay, so I'll change request method. So this is our payload, or that's what the, we need to submit a form with query and then this as the value. And do we need to change it to anything specific? Uh, where is it? To, nope, we just need to change it. Okay. So let's copy the, this. So we have that here. Um, let's go look at this. Payload equals form actions. Um, we want, uh, what was it? Proxy post slash GraphQL slash V1. Log base URL GraphQL v1. A method will be post input email value. This is where we're going to put all this stuff. And we need it to be named query. So let me change, change word query and copy this. Yank. Do those double quotes need to be there? Hmm. Let's see if they actually do. Repeater. Let's change it to blah to invalid syntax. And if I put the quotes, it works. Okay. So they have to be there. So I'm going to escape them here. Do I need, might need to multiple escape them. Let's, let's think about this. Form action, that's fine. Required email, query, value. No, just one escape is, is okay, right? No, we need two escapes. We need to go like this. I think. <laughs> all right, now we need to double up all these these things because we're in Python. Boom. 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 And then submit. So I think that's it. Let's uh, GCC this. Let's see how we submit it. Post exploit. Um. Let's just print it out and do it manually, just at least to check. Print payload, and then we'll do run this. Copy, paste. We'll see how that looks. Mutation, well, let's just see how it functions. That looks good to me. Let's go here, exploit server. What are we changing it to? Right now, it's uh, we're changing it to blah one and 
Right now it is blah two. I am super creative, aren't I? And here's how I know we're changing it to blah one. Store. View export. Exploit. Invalid. Oh, the plus. So what did we have wrong? It might be percent 20. That was the only maybe. You. No, that wasn't it. Mutation. What about just a space? Invalence. Oh, at the... So the space looked like it worked. But something here. I don't, can I do single quotes? I don't think so. What's this? Oh. Does terminal nope. Okay. What about without any quotes? Do we still get that error with the Yep, the at sign. What about just Token recognition error at dot C. Oh, right there. Doesn't like that. Validation wrong type. Okay. We're at, so it would have worked if we could get this to somehow. What if we change this outside to single quotes in the HTML? Will that matter? Oh, that did it really change it to that? Hey, it did. Now we get we should be able to put back the at sign and the period blah add blah dot com um let's test it we'll do the blah well it doesn't matter because we we'll know if it worked view exploit boom and boom there we go so do it in the script for old time sakes. Uh, let's get the payload updated with all our changes. Oh, I don't want this. I want value copy value. Oops. Whereas, okay, I'm going to delete from there to there. And I need to delete that value equals. Let's uh, change their email to 
you, uh, whoops, you at, you at got hacked sucker dot net. Okay. And then we want to submit this. Let's see. Post exploit blog is solved. What's this? F string invalid unknown. Oh crap. We need to double up these right here. And quadruple this one. Okay. Boom. Response file. We just want to change the response body equals payload. This should submit it to them. Let's try it. Py uh, Python performing. Oh, we can just arrow up. Hit it. Yeah! Boom! We solved it. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, we just uh, modified the query that we saw here um, to use URL form encoded. And then once we had that, we built an HTML page to execute the CSRF attack, sent that link to the victim, the victim clicked on it, changed their email, something we knew, and that's it. That's how we solved it. Awesome. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Goodbye.